town. Hi, IMS families. Uh, here's our December video for you. Um, as we come out of Thanksgiving break and almost into winter break, uh, we want to thank you for uh, participating with us in our, our changes around grading for equity, grading for learning, um, because we know it's been so, some different things. And um, one of the things we've realized is that change is hard, that uh, whenever you're trying to make a change, whether it's in school or in life, there's ups and downs. You, you take two steps forward, one step back. Um, the learning is not linear for anybody. And we're also trying to change an education system that has been around for hundreds of years and that really was developed to sort, fam sort kids into uh, those that are gonna go to different tracks in life. And what we're really trying to do with our grading for learning um, approach is to make sure all kids have the opportunity to, to reach the standards that we've set, uh, the high standards and rigor that we've set for all of our courses. So thank you for uh, helping us with, with going through this change. Mary Jo? Hi, Islander families. This is Mary Jo Budges, one of your co-principals. Um, one of the things that I wanted to remind our families um, and our students is that this is a learning year for all of us for our teachers, for our kids, and for our parents. And sometimes that can feel um, challenging and um, like a struggle, but what we're calling this year is an early implementation year. So what that means is that we are, as a staff, learning um, to understand and integrate our four mindset practices. We started with behavior is ungraded, um, and that has really been our main focus for our first trimester, as was our mindset two, which is lifting the veil. So our teacher is really trying to get clear about what it is that are, is essential in each of our courses and aligning those, aligning those essential standards to proficiency scales. Where we're going to go after winter break is digging into the mindset of multiple means of engagement, which is our mindset three, and our mindset four, which is multiple means of representation and multiple means of evidence um, to demonstrate um, mastery or understanding of a target. So I just wanted to remind everybody that we are all in this learning progression throughout the year with next year being a full implementation year. So 100% of our staff utilizing standards-based grading as the way to represent learning for our students. And this year we have 41 of our 54 um, 41 of our 54 teachers using standards-based grading, but we still have about 15 who are using traditional grading and that will shift as we move into next year. The only other thing I wanna say is that uh, one of the feedback we've heard from families is how do we know about what's going on at school. How do we know where our kids are, not only with their learning along, uh, academic learning along the progressions, but also what about academic habits? Or is my kid turning in work? Is my kid um, meeting the expectations in terms of some of those habits that we know are vital for kids? During the next couple of weeks, teachers will be reaching out to families, talking about how to get more of that story uh, for their classes. So, so families will have a better sense of where do I go to find the information that is valuable so parents can not only keep track of where their kids are, but also support them at home. So that's something our teachers will be working on over the next couple of weeks. So look for that um, communication from, from different teachers soon. We just want to um, say to you that we hope your family finds lots of time for fun and relaxation over the two-week holiday um, winter break, um, and we are looking very much forward to coming back in the new year and having a um, wonderful end to our school year. All right. Thank you. Have a great day.